Hi, today we're going to be focusing on day and night, and mostly we're going to focus on night, but we're going to talk a little bit about the passage of time and how that works in the lives of children. I know as parents, there's probably been many times when you're with your little ones, they want to know when their birthday's coming again or when the next holiday is going to be here, and it's not always such an easy thing to try and explain that passage of time and help them understand. So we're going to start with just a little bit of the basics on that today. So boys and girls, have you ever noticed when you look up in the sky and you see the sun and it looks like it's moving across the sky? It rises in one place and then it sets in another place. But guess what? The sun is not moving. It's us, the people that are living on the earth. We're the ones that are moving. So I'm gonna pretend, and this is just a little soccer ball, but we're gonna pretend it's the sun. The sun is round in shape and it doesn't move. It stays right where it is all the time. We live on earth and earth is also round and it does move. So the earth moves around the sun all the way around. If the earth was the here on your birthday, it would take a whole nother birthday for it to come back to the same place again. It would take a year for the earth to move around. The earth also spins like this while it's going around. And that's how we get day and night. So if this side was facing the sun, it would be daytime because we would feel the heat and see the light and see the sun. But as it spins and turns away from the sun, then that would be nighttime because if you were living right here where my thumb is, it would not see the sun and it would be dark and it wouldn't be feeling the heat from the sun. So that's how we get day and night. We also have our moon, okay, and stars. Okay, so the moon in this picture, remember we talked about crescent shape early in the year. This is crescent shape, but the moon doesn't really change shapes. It just looks like it does because the shadow of the earth is on top of it. So this is the moon, this little round ball, and this is the earth. And while the earth is moving, this, the moon is also going around it. And it takes about one month for it to go around the earth. Okay, here's a picture of the moon. <clears throat> And you can see it looks like it's all these different shapes as it goes around during the month, but actually it stays the same shape and it's just the shadow on it. But we can still call it a, a crescent and a round and semicircle, half circle, okay? So that's how it works. So in nighttime, one of the things that we're going to do today to represent that is make a picture of day and night. So as you glue these pieces on, you're gonna glue on the stars and the moon up at the top and the sun and the cloud up at the top so that you can cut out <clears throat> these pictures and you're gonna glue them on whether or not we do these at night or during the day. And you're gonna find, parents, some of these are not nocturnal animals, nighttime ones, so you're gonna to wanna to talk to them a little bit about how some animals actually stay awake at, at night and some sleep just like we do, okay? Also, there's might be something on here that's the same. That means you can do it both at night and at day, so you'll have to watch for that, okay? So that's gonna come in the packet like this, you're going to glue the black side on one and the blue side on other because you've got a white piece of cardstock, okay? And then just cut out the squares after you've got your sun and moon and stars glued on and decide which side they go on. Okay, we also have our letter page. We're gonna focus on the letter P this week. P says P and pig starts with the letter P, and so does pajamas, p, 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 okay? Then we're gonna let you design your own pair of pajamas. So you're gonna find a 
page in there like this. There's a little bag with some buttons that you can glue on. And then there are some stickers. So you can use your crayons. You can use your um, markers if you want and the stickers if you want or you don't have to use the stickers or if you have stickers at your own house that you like better that's okay too you're just going to decorate your own pair of pajamas because nighttime we wear pajamas I don't sleep in my school clothes I wear pajamas at night okay and then parents for you we do have a handout about sleep and why sleep is so important for children at this age and um, how many hours they need. It's way more than you might think. So be sure and read this over. If you feel like you might have some sleep issues with your children, um, please let me know and I will be happy to give you extra information about that to help them, okay? So I think that's pretty much it. Oh, don't forget to read your book. We have... Um, Clifford's Bedtime. Okay, so it will be interesting and fun to read through this and see what things Clifford does at bedtime that is the same that you do and what things does he do that you don't do. Okay, so read that story and then do your sticker page. Okay, I have gotten down to the very end. I just really don't have any more room on my sticker page. If you've gotten to that point, all you have to do is turn it over and start putting your stickers on the back. Okay. All right. Have a great week and call me if you have any questions. Thanks. Bye.